Warning, due to YouTube's content restrictions, you can see this video in full on our uncensorable Odyssey channel at video.freekeen.com. And I recognize Representative Santanstazo to introduce his bill. Thank you, uh, Chairman and members of the Criminal Justice Committee. Uh, my name's Representative Santos Nostasso, representing the towns of Ringe, Dublin, and Jaffrey. And uh, House Bill 581 is a simple bill. It deletes uh, the Controlled Drug Act in New Hampshire and establishes a study committee on the implementation of deleting the Controlled Drug Act. Um, this bill's the ultimate solution to the drug legalization question. Uh, all these bills are getting filed that are nitpicking in different ways and stuff. This is where it's going to go. Ultimately, uh, just as the uh, 18th Amendment of the United States Constitution was repealed, um, the 18th Amendment, which uh, prohibited the manufacture, sale, and transportation of intoxicating liquors, is pretty interesting for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, they, at the time, they recognized that they couldn't just prohibit uh, straight up possession. So there is, there, it wasn't illegal to uh, possess uh, liquor during uh, Prohibition. Um, and the other thing that's interesting is that they actually passed an amendment to the uh, Constitution because th at the time in the 1920s, uh, they actually had respect for the Constitution and they did things like have Congress declare war and uh, used sound money that was, it's mandated by the Constitution that we use gold. Um, so in order for, uh, in section two, I'll just read you the 18th Amendment. So. Uh, Section one, after one year from the ratification of this article, the manufacture, sale, or transportation of intoxicating liquors uh, within the importation thereof into, or the exportation thereof from the United States and all territory subject to the jurisdiction thereof for beverages purposes is hereby prohibited. And then section two, uh, the Congress and the several states shall have the concurrent power to enforce this article by the appropriate legislation. So this suggests that it was illegal for the states and the government to prohibit liquor without actually amending the Constitution. Um, and therefore, the, all the um, controlled substance acts, uh, New Hampshire's included, are illegal. All right, uh, so any private property is natural to man. Laws that prohibit possession of certain items, such as drugs or firearms, are an infringement on an individual's right to own and use their property as they see fit. As long as an individual is not harming others or causing disturbance, they should be able to possess whatever they choose on their own property without government interference. Um, criminalizing possession leads to the over-criminalization of society. People who are not committing any harm end up getting labeled as criminals and face the consequences that come with the label, uh, such as fines, imprisonment, criminal record, which have uh, severe and life-lasting impact on, the, on them. Uh, and then some of these prohibited substances and controlled acts uh, like DMT, for example, have an enormous tradition of religious use. In 2018, Free Keen teamed up with LBRY.com to back up our YouTube. Libraries already protected more than one video that YouTube took down. Now in 2021, our YouTube's been given a ridiculous strike for a 15-second promo from 2011 for harmful or dangerous content. Library doesn't have strikes or any way to take down videos. Our days are numbered on YouTube. Get the app at lbry.com or follow our channel on Library's new platform, Odyssey, at video.freekeen.com.